Welcome to the Media Pro Show, the show that gives you quick, simple tips to grow your business by serving as an expert in the media. Learn how to get all the TV, radio, podcast, magazine, newspaper, and online interviews that you want, and learn how to be great in those interviews. I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and media medical expert. I did an interview on a medical podcast a few weeks ago, and the host obviously was a physician, and we were talking about how media interviews can help you get more of the types of patients that you want to see. But he started the interview with a question that really made me think, not just then, but even afterwards. He asked me, why is doing the media, at least for doctors, why is it even worth it? Is it worth the investment doing all that work to be on TV or in the radio or wherever? And it's a really good question, not just for physicians, but any type of expert, accountant, attorney, real estate agent, financial planner, any, anybody really. There's a lot of you know, thought about, is it worth the time? Now, most of us don't do media interviews to be famous. I wouldn't think so, especially because if you're doing it locally, you're not going to get all that famous. We're trying it to grow our businesses, get more customers, clients, and patients. Now, you might say, well, I already have too many patients. I already have too many customers or clients. And that might be true. I know a lot of doctors that have way too many patients. They can't take on anymore because they're already overloaded. But one of the great things about the media is that you can narrow your focus to attract a very specific type of customer, client, and patient. Maybe you're a financial planner who only wants to work with people in certain professions. Maybe you're, you're a real estate agent or real estate investor who wants to focus on people who flip homes and flip houses. Maybe you're an attorney and you want to attract a very specific type of client, maybe family or divorce law types of clients. By focusing the topics that you talk about in the media to just a very narrow window that appeals to a very specific type of customer, client, and patient, you can become an expert in that area. When I was starting to do the media back in, you know, between 2006, maybe 2010, 2011, I was trying to grow my practice. And in sports medicine, a large part of what you do are young athletes, youth sports, high school sports, college sports. And so I did most of my interviews on top Topics related to youth sports, youth sports injuries, and information for how coaches and parents can prevent youth sports injuries. And I did tons of those interviews. Very quickly, I became the expert in youth sports in really in South Carolina and got tons of young athletes as patients. Now, it's not to say there isn't some value on doing interviews about topics outside of that narrow niche. As I've said over and over, the value of the media is repetition and being seen over and over again. No question. But the more you can narrow your topics into a sort of a niche field, the better that you're going to be known in that particular area, become the go-to person in that area, and grow that very specific part of your business. Now, back to the investment part. When you're talking about getting more media interviews, you're really talking about one of two types of investment. You can either spend your money or you can spend your time. So when we're talking about spending money, really when you're trying to get interviews, you're talking about hiring a publicist or a public relations firm. And yeah, you might hire a publicist that has big name connections. And that may get you interviews that bring you a lot of credibility like USA Today or the New York Times. But in my experience, unless your publicist lives in your city or town, they're generally not effective at getting you many interviews in your local market. And to be fair, that's where your customers, clients, and patients are going to come from. Unless you have an online business, people go to see people, experts that are local in their area. Doing a radio interview in Oklahoma City isn't going to help you get more customers, clients, and patients if you live and work in Georgia or California. It's just not going to be terribly effective. There's other pros and cons to publicists, and it gets beyond the scope of this. But the money part of it too is the other reason I'm not sure I would do the, or at least start with the publicist if you're trying to grow your business in your local market. Yes, you're not gonna spend a lot of time you know, researching and pitching and things like that, but you're trading that by spending money for people to get you those interviews. And we're talking about a lot of money, anywhere from 
$3,000 a month to probably $20,000 a month. And that's a lot of money. So those are factors you need to consider. So if you're not going to spend money, then you're talking about spending time. And at first, when you're starting to do media interviews, it is a lot of time. You have to set up a system. You have to create a database of some sort of CRM to collect contact information from journalists and reporters and show hosts and producers so that you can pitch them in the future. You have to create a home or office studio so you can do remote interviews. You have to create a capture system to collect articles and research to pitch. You have to create a pitch template. There's a lot of things you need to do on the front end. But then once you create that system, it doesn't take that much time to then use it to get more media interviews. I mean, you can scan articles looking for ideas for topics to pitch, drinking a cup of coffee, you know, five minutes a day, maybe five minutes a week. Again, you're going to create a pitch template that's basically a framework for an email, and you're just changing a couple lines so you can just constantly change it when you're going to pitch this media member or that media member on this topic or that topic, and you're not recreating the wheel each time. Then once you've got your system in place and it's up and running and you know how to do it, you can teach someone, you can hire someone even, you know, an assistant, it can be an intern, you know, really anybody. You can teach somebody to do all that research get all that contact information, actually do the pitching him or herself so that all you have to do is focus on your business and being great in those interviews. One of the things I do with the coaching clients I work with one-on-one -on -one is that you and I work to create that system, to create the CRM or database and how to find the contact information for the journalist so that you can pitch them going forward in the future, how to create the filing system to collect ideas for topics and articles and research, how to create the pitch template so that you basically have a framework to send out an email trying to get media interviews. Then once that system is in place and it's up and running, I show you how to teach that system to somebody that can do all the outreach for you so you can just be great in those interviews. Remember, on this podcast, in my coaching, on the website, on these YouTube shows, please remember this is not specific business advice. It's not medical, financial, health advice, any of that. I'm not giving you specific advice. If you have specific business concerns, practice concerns, whatever it is, talk to an expert in that area. But if you want to potentially get more media interviews and if you want to become the go-to expert in your town and potentially get more customers, clients, and patients, potentially be seen in church or at the grocery store or at the gym and have people come up to you and say, hey, I saw you on TV. You were fantastic. How can I work with you in person and, and go further? If you want all that, I can help you become a media pro. Go to MediaProsCoaching.com. Click the button at the top to sign up for a free 30-minute strategy session where we'll talk about what you do and what your business is, where you are and what you're trying to achieve. And then we'll figure out some simple strategies that you can implement right away to start getting media interviews to grow your business or practice. And while you're there, pick up a copy of the Media Pros Interview Checklist. It's just a very short three, four pages. It's like 20 or 30 tips, things you should remember, things you should do before every interview, doesn't matter what type of media, that will make that interview go so well and hopefully bring them back, bring the producer, the show host, the journalist, the reporter, have them ask you back to do more interviews over and over and over again in the future. Now, remember, as you're trying to become a media pro, this is a journey, this is a process, this is a system that you're going to implement to truly, you know, really be great and grow your business. Always remember the words of the, you know, now legendary comedian Steve Martin. And whenever anybody asked him on how they could become a comedian, he always had one very simple piece of advice. Be so good, they can't ignore you. <laughs>